I am so excited for today's video because I've never really built a lot quite like this. Today we're going to be building a community center, but we're going to be making an LGBT community center as a celebration of Pride Month. I know it's already July, but I needed some time to plot and scheme for this video. Actually, I already built a shell. We might end up changing it, but I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what we're looking at on the outside. I'm going to go and change our lot type to recreation center. I figure rec center is probably the best lot type for this. There's also like community space and art center and stuff like that. And there's also just generic. But since rec center came with the newest pack and I've also never built one myself, I feel like it kind of works. I want what we're doing to kind of fit in with the rest of the world. So if you didn't notice, we are here in Magnolia Promenade. So we have a lot of like base game stuff going on and I'm going to be doing something else actually with that building right there, but we will get to that when we get to that. I may have already built the shell, but I have not already thought about roofing. I do however want this to look a little bit more fresh and modern. So I might go in with a little bit of siding. I can't decide if I want it on that part down there. Also, if I look sweaty in this video, we're all just going to have to pretend we do not see it because it is so hot in my room right now. It is like 90 degrees outside. How can I claim to be good at building in The Sims when I literally forget how to make a skylight? I know that much, but I can't figure out what to do on this piece of the roof. I'm just gonna bring it all the way across. It looks really bad if I do that, but it looks a little better when I add the roof trim. Moving into the windows, I think I'm gonna abandon the part where I said this is going to look like it fits in with Magnolia Promenade. I don't think it doesn't look like it fits in. Let's get that straight. And I definitely wanna go colorful out here. I made us a little archway with this rainbow item. And and in this weird little spot right here, obviously that's perfect for a pride flag. I'm just gonna do a touch of landscaping. I'm going to add some rainbow flowers. I feel like that is perfect for what we're trying to do here. It looks so pretty. I love it. These are the lupin flowers from Romantic Garden stuff. And if you watch me a lot, you know I don't normally have too much of a use for these, but I do think that the color options of the flowers in this pack are quite nice. Out here at the actual like entryway we'll do a bench oh this does remind me i have built like a community center before when i did the build out of the numbers 2022 though i'm not sure many of you were here for that i would like to add a couple of these like corkboard bulletin boards probably advertise the events and services and everything like that and we'll put the community voting board here obviously that's not exactly what it's gonna be used for but i think it's so cute to have these little rainbow people as well i have not made a floor plan so i need to make a floor plan I do you just realize I severely messed up by trying to make this lofted? I thought I really, I thought I ate. What do I do? Do I deal with this lighting? No, I was so excited to have like a big open entryway like that. I cannot do this. Okay, this just in. There's no second floor. It's there for aesthetics because it's too late to change it now. So here on the first floor, I think this is bathrooms, okay? I think we will do this front desk from Get to Work. I love using that in like my community lots. Over here, I want this to be kind of like a like a community class area when we have these like recreation center lockers So let me do that. I would love for this area to be kind of like a little library And I think that the bookshelves from the growing together pack actually really work for us here Wait, I just had a really good idea. I think we'll do like a sectional around here for like gathering around Also, what I want to do is add a rug for drag queen story time Of course, and that's why i've added that chair there as well But we still need two musical instruments two workout equipment do the yoga mats count as workout equipment? So I was thinking maybe they host free yoga classes. I wish the yoga counted as workout equipment, but it doesn't. So we're going to have to do, let's do a couple treadmills over there. I think I want to do the rock climbing wall. I feel like I never get to use the rock climbing wall. Or we could really commit to this being like a fitness area and we could do more. I also wanted this to have a space for art. I'm going to move our lockers over here. I'm going to take away one treadmill. And then I'm going to add some easels over here. Here, I think we'll do like a little kitchenette in lieu of the cafe that I kind of really wanted to do. But instead, we don't have room for that. I want some more separation. Like, should we do the half wall? I feel like the half wall looks really silly. Also, please suspend your disbelief. I know it wouldn't be very peaceful to have like the yoga class in this open air space, but like your Sims will be fine. I haven't even really thought about what I want on the wall yet. I do think something like that from Get Famous and maybe outside, we can do this one from high school years just to add some more pops of color. I feel like gyms have TVs on the wall in front of the treadmills, so we're 
we're gonna add a TV there. Oh, I really haven't added any curtains, have I? I'm gonna ask you all to settle for the vines because I think the vines look really nice. I'm gonna leave this counter mostly open because what if somebody wants to make a little garden salad or something? I don't know. But in here, I kind of wanted this to be a desk, kind of like an office, you know, where people can go have like a meeting, learn more about like the resources the center offers, anything like that. And now thankfully I will say the computers count as games. And it's not really that I don't want to add these things. Like when I'm like, oh, that counts as this. Oh, that counts as this. It's that I don't want to have to like worry about fitting it in if it doesn't fit with my exact vision. Someone commented on TikTok recently that they love when I do the chairs like this when I do an office. So I'm going to be doing those. I don't know what like color scheme vibes though we want. It's definitely a tight squeeze, but take that up with the Sims who did not want to let me actually have a second floor of this building. So there's our little office space. And coming back here, I would actually really love to do a games table. Let's put that there. We honestly probably should just do like a whole entire sprinkler system. It just started thundering. So I'm going to save. And if that delays me finishing this build, I will be so sad. And you know what I think would be really good? I want to add this like box of, it looks like kind of like old clothes and stuff. So they always have like extra clothes or anything if anybody is in need of that. Or if anybody like has anything to donate, anything like that. Maybe they also have some extra pet treats. Like you'll be able to bring your animals here as well. I'm obsessed with this little area right here. And we're still not done over here. I would like some curtains if I can somehow figure out a way to like fit them in. Wait, these ones from growing together are kind of really fun. And maybe in here we'll do, oh my gosh, wait, it fits perfectly if I size it up. I was wondering what we should do on that wall. And there is our answer. Obviously we need some stuff for our crafty Sims as well. When oh, we need our musical instruments, I might just put one of those right there. Oh, and we need a stereo. I did have a speaker, but I guess we need a stereo actually. Let's just do some pop out here. Easy listening over by the yoga area. Wait, this came together kind of fast. Oh wait, we have not done in here yet. I want to use the new sinks from the new pack so badly. I was worried that they would kind of run into the door, but I think that's totally fine. I want the fancy toilets. Isn't it that, like if you put that above the toilet, it works if we need to have a shower? Because I feel like two showers and two toilets is better than one shower and one toilet. And I'll add a little window there. Sorry to the window in bathroom haters. I know you're out there. That'll be our bathroom. We also have out here and this building. And so what I want to do with this building, I would like it to be a, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, I would like it to be a bar. And obviously it is not the biggest in the world, but that's okay. I was just kind of torn on if I should do a community center or a bar for our pride month video. And so then I said, why not both? Obviously only Sims of age are allowed in the bar area. Haters will say this won't be functional. I, not a hater, I'm gonna say it is. Your Sims only need half a tile to get behind there. And that is half of a tile. What do we do over here? Like some tables? Can we fit a DJ booth and a dance floor? I think two tables is too much. Maybe just two tables with two chairs. The DJ booth is quite large. Maybe we'll put that there. I kind of like when there's like giant TVs with like nothing really important going on on them at the bar, at the club. I like that dance floor a lot. I also want to do some fun lighting in here. I made the lights different colors. I know we probably should have done an extra bathroom somewhere on here, but it's too late now. I need a musical instrument. And now, like I said, this is like a stage for any kind of performances. If I add a microphone, that doesn't count. Great, 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 great. Maybe we'll add the DJ booth out here and we'll like throw in the guitar on the side there. That'll be good. There can be some performances and we'll add some seating for that. We'll add a grill out here. I don't know what I was doing with like the flooring and stuff. This genuinely, this slide is here because for the community lot, I need to have a jungle gym. I didn't really want to add the whole like big one. So we're going to have like a little slide somewhere. You know what? I'm just going to size it down and I'm going to put it there. Perhaps it's a prop for a performance. Wow. I changed the lighting and that really did change everything. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was going to make the bar actually face this side. So it is kind of like a completely separate venue. Oh, well. Did we get everything but a picnic table with Desert Lux? Me thinks yes. These are from the holiday pack. I actually really love these picnic tables. I think they look great. And what is a community center without a community garden? I think I can finish up our landscaping now that I know what the rest of this lot is looking like. And I'm going to make a little pathway. I did forget something very, very important, which is lights. We literally do not have like any lights out here. We kind of need lights like this going onto the stage, but maybe we can like hide those in there. And of course our floor lighting kind of can help us to if you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and comment Lil Whalebert because that's our little slide that I've snuck back in there. But I think that's going to do it for our LGBTQIA plus community center, rec center. I'm actually really happy I was able to build this type of lot. And 
I hope everyone had an amazing Pride Month, but we can be proud all year long. So happy July to all of you as well. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. I know it's easy to forget to also subscribe. Comment more videos you want to see. I would love to see you at a Twitch stream sometime. I stream like four times a week. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!